80% of students aren't impacted in high school classrooms, middle school classrooms, because teachers are just asking them to mimic instead of asking them to think, and students disconnect. California Math Project at Sac State programs enhance professional learning for teachers by giving them a chance to really think about how do they pass on sense-making opportunities to students and not tell them what to do every step of the way. I think every time I come to the Saturday seminars, uh, at Sac State, uh, one of the things I get out of it is I get to take a problem home with me and in turn take that back into the classroom and use that same type of problem in a way that suits my students where it provides more access to them. Our professional learning with the California Math Project is around different ways that students could solve problems, whether that's using a graph, using a table, writing an equation, and that each method is valid. And so in that, we can train teachers to be stronger in each of those methods so that they can bring that out in their students. Well, one of the partnerships that we have is with the Sacramento County Office of Education and last summer uh, it was our third time partnering to offer a Building Thinking Classroom summer program and what was exciting about that was we reached 180 teachers approximately over the course of three institutes, five-day institutes, and really changed some minds about what math education could look like and then we also uh, had the really big assist in the last couple years uh, from the research from Peter Liliadal Building Thinking Classrooms, where he has designed some strategies to get uh, students up and using vertical erasable spaces when they do their work and talking, so that teachers can then be seeing their work and fostering discussions between students and they have more opportunities to make sense of mathematics and actually do mathematics like mathematicians do. We actually teach in the manner that we are hoping that they're gonna do with their students, walk in the walk, getting the teachers up so that they could feel how it is for their students, which helps them, and they could also have a different learning experience. We're really focusing on that building thinking classroom strategy of visually random groups and being up at whiteboards. Students are gonna be working with students they would never have a chance to work with before. Students they would probably not self-select to work with. So now we're getting students of different cultures working together. We're getting students of different math abilities working together. We're getting students who speak different languages working together. In giving these rich mathematical lessons, where the students are talking in groups, it gives us opportunities to see their strengths and their weaknesses. In other words, it allows us to build deeper relationships. In my specific class, I've gone from less mimicking direct instruction to more time of a thinking task and the kids being on the whiteboards. Instead of just saying, teacher, teacher, they could just look at the whiteboard group next to them and say, whoa, that's a different idea than we had. Let's bring that back to my group. And that's really important to be able to build that class culture because it builds on being able to work together as a team because we're all learning, even the teacher. California Gear Up is the mechanism that has allowed us to do some um, real specific work over the last six years with three high schools and three middle schools in Sacramento City Unified School District. Our data in Sacramento City Unified School District shows that students are struggling in math. So one of the support services that California Gear Up gives is a math specific content support. We try to meet teachers wherever they're at and wherever their comfort level is, and then partner with them to develop that next strategy that works for them. So for example, mathematics departments at every school are going through a process of taking a look at any of the evidence and data about how their students are doing in mathematics. And then they determine what do we think is the barrier for students currently being able to achieve that goal. And so what do we want to do about that? That's where we come in is we provide professional learning that's tailored to that change that that school, the math department has identified. Some other sites are using the support with the California Math Project to go to each other's classrooms and watch each teacher teach. Learning Walks is a pretty cool strategy where uh, the teachers at the school observe each other, implementing a lesson using building thinking classroom strategies. They all had one or two things to say about my class that were positive. They were like, hey, these, this group over here, they were having this great discussion about math. What it did for me is, was it allowed me to see things that I didn't see. At the end of the day, we all got together for lunch and we talked to each other and got to learn stuff about each other. And, and, and that goes under the radar in terms of the importance of knowing your colleagues, knowing how they think, knowing how they're gonna treat their students. And so we were all able to come away with strategies that we were able to take back to our own classroom and better serve our students. California Gear Up's goal is to improve the outcomes for students going from middle school to high school so that they're ready for college and career after school. You're not gonna be able to have these rich mathematical discussions until you know your students. At Luther Burbank High School, 
we are focused on eliminating barriers for African-American achievement. When looking at the data of a couple different uh, assessments that we give to all students, African-Americans were performing uh, at a lower level. If you believe that all students are capable of learning, which we do believe, then we have to talk about why there's such a big difference. We identified that we need to work on our relationships with our African-American students. So we engaged in learning partnerships. We try to find out about our students so then we can properly engage in the proper mathematical strategies. Funding allows us to do what we do. We have to buy our own time and make space for our own time to go do work with teachers. And so we have some funding from the state. The other funding we have to go hustle and go form partnerships with schools and districts in order to access their funding. We need it because we need to be able to provide these kind of resources and professional development because it, it's important that we, that we just grow as an individual, as a professional, uh, so we can take that back to our students. It's instilled like confidence and courage in us to be able to go back in the classroom and provide that nurturing type of learning environment that we can then give to our students and not just any students, like go back to a community where we have students and populations that have been marginalized in the past and be able to give them the same equal access that other students have access to. And like not be afraid to be like, hey, you can do it. We're trying to make it so every child gets rich mathematics, not just some of them that are the first and the fastest, but how do we make access points multiple times so that everybody can engage in the way that they can engage.